So apparently your parents sent you to some type of fear factor camp because it's another day and the counselors are telling you there's another initiation that you have to do. Oh man. This time you have to find out the distance across the lake by swimming. Now normally you don't have a problem with swimming. You're a good swimmer, you enjoy swimming. But the problem is the water's really cold and you've been hearing this camp story about some monster in the lake. And just to play it safe, you're not really interested in going into the water at this point. But don't worry, this lesson is on scale drawings and scale models and you'll be able to find out the distance of that lake without getting your toes wet. But first, let's talk about scale. Scale is the ratio of a given length on a drawing or model to its corresponding length in reality. In order to figure out scale, you need to use a proportion. So that's going to be scale on one side, and the drawing length and actual length on the other. So depending on what you're trying to find out determines where you put the numbers at. Scale on one side, drawing length, and then actual length. So let's take a look at that lake problem now. Luckily you remember that there's a map of the camp. Boys camps, cabins over here, girls cabins there. Here's the length of the lake. This is what we need. And we know that the map, or the scale drawing, shows the lake to be 37 and a half inches. But the lake itself isn't 37 and a half inches, the picture is. So we look at our scale drawing. One half inch equals two feet. Now it's time to do some math. Here I've created a proportion. One half inch equals two feet. And what I'm trying to do is find 37 and a half inches. So we'll solve this the way we typically solve a proportion, and that is to cross multiply. When we do that, we get one half x equals 75 feet. We need to use the reciprocal of one half in order to find out what x equals. And without getting your feet wet, you were able to find out that the distance across the lake is 150 feet. Fortunately, after finding out how far it is across the lake, the counselors now want you to find out how tall the camp totem pole is. But luckily, you were able to buy a scale model in the gift shop. And to your great luck, on the bottom of the model, it tells you exactly what scale it is. So just like a scale drawing, a scale model is used to represent an object that is too large or too small to be drawn or built at actual size. Or if you just want to try and find out how tall a totem pole is without actually climbing up it. So on the left hand side, just like our scale, we're going to use our scale proportion here. And then drawing length or model length or height and then the actual length. So let's take a look at our totem pole problem again. For our totem pole we know the model is 1 16th and we happen to know the height of our model is 12 inches. So we need to find out how tall that totem pole is by cross multiplying. And by doing that we find out it's 192 inches or if we want it in feet, it would be 16 feet tall. Now scale drawings and scale models aren't only used to find out the distance across lakes and the heights of totem poles, but they're also used in art. This is an example of a piece of art in Springfield, Missouri. Obviously it's a giant fork. Here's a free stamp. This sits in Cleveland, Ohio. Right behind it is Lake Erie, and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is like right over there. More traditionally, this is a scale drawing of a concrete base. And on a more complex front, this is a scale drawing of a P-38 Lightning from I don't know when, sometime. So that's it for scale, scale drawing, and scale model.